Is Java good for making games? You probably expect me to talk about Java's performance, ease of use, capabilities and stuff like that. I will, but there are three important topics to talk about before we dive into that. First, game engines exist. You should use an existing engine and the reason is simple. Making a production-ready engine that works on most of the relevant hardware, especially consoles, would take years. This basic prototype took me several months of non-full-time work, and it is terrible, and it's not even a game. If your goal is to release a game, you'll simply waste years for no apparent reason by not using an existing engine. And unfortunately for Java developers, the few basic engines you can use Java with are nowhere near the big players like Unity, Unreal, or even Game Maker and Godot. This means if you want to use an engine, as you should, Java is not the best option. That's not to say that engines on Java don't exist, but with the limited time I had to take a look at Java engines, and months I've spent with this thing, they've left a much lesser impression than Unity or Unreal. Second, community and ecosystem. The more people use the same thing for the same purpose, the better its ecosystem gets. Stuff like tutorials, frameworks, pre-made assets, existing solutions, and common answers to common questions. You know the saying, we all stand on the shoulders of giants. By using a mainstream way of making games, which Java is not, there are more giants to stand on their shoulders. And for the reasons I'll explain in this video, the giants of game dev use languages other than Java. The third important topic is job opportunities. The Java game developer is pretty much a non-existent position. Here's my experience. I worked for Minecraft minigame servers for... for longer than I would like to admit, and found no success at securing a decent job in the gaming industry as a Java game developer, because Java is a language mostly irrelevant in game dev. As a Java game developer, you have very few options to choose from. Option 1. Getting hired by Moyang. This is the only high-profile company making desktop games using Java. Minecraft has spawned a generation of people knowing Java and wanting to make video games with it. You are probably here because you are one of them. So do I. Hytale used to be developed on Java, but it seems like they've moved on to C++, evident by their job openings and their plans for the simultaneous release on PC, consoles and mobile. This insane competition makes it very unlikely that you will get hired by that one company. Ask me how I know! They hire like 3 to 5 people per year while there are thousands of people who would fit the job opening. And it is not like they're gonna be hiring forever. Option 2. Mobile games. I mean, it's an option, but do you dream of making mobile games? Initially, I thought that Java just doesn't run on iOS, and I'm still getting conflicting information. But it seems like you can use Java on iOS to some extent, I just cannot confirm or deny that it's a well-established process. Regardless, mobile games are meant to be developed quickly, which is easier to achieve by using an existing engine. Nowadays, if a mobile game requires its own custom engine, it just will never be made. Option 3. Server-side development for online games, predominantly on mobile. Java is a fantastic language for server-side development. It's not that uncommon to see a game with a client written in C++ and a server written in Java. But it's not really game development, is it? It's service development. Instead of making content, you know, weapons, characters, gameplay mechanics, you'll be stuck with networking, databases, scalability, etc. It's not inherently bad or boring, but is this why you've chosen game dev? You can have the same experience in the general software industry. 
Option 4 – Minecraft Minigame Servers. It's a mix of the previous two. Minecraft servers aren't far away from mobile games, and your development experience will be mostly about maintaining the server infrastructure as opposed to making gameplay. Also, most of them are chronically under budget. Option 5. Indie. Can't find a game made in Java? Consider creating one. An option that's not present is what people commonly consider real proper games and real game dev, that is, high-profile desktop slash console games made by big professional studios. And there is a good reason for it. The lack of cross-platform support. Despite cross-platform being one of the selling points of Java, what they mean by platforms is Windows, Mac and Linux, or x86, ARM and Itanium. Not PlayStation, PC and Switch. The whole reason why Moyak makes the same game twice is because Java doesn't work on consoles and iOS. If you plan to release your game on anything except PC and Android, Java is simply not an option. And because most decently sized studios do release their games on consoles, they cannot use Java. That said, it seems like there are ways to port a Java application to iOS using RoboVM. Also, the developers of Pathway had to make a port of a fork of RoboVM and create a custom backend for libgdx to make their Java game work on Switch. So, while they technically made it possible, to me it seems like an exception to the rule. Minecraft and Slay the Spire had to be rewritten using a different stack of tech to run on consoles. And that's a shame, because Java has two major advantages. Productivity and ease of learning. See, the whole point why Java was made and the reason why it's so popular as a back-end language for online services is productivity. If you are making an online service, the time of your programmers is a much more limited resource than servers, which you can rent more of at any time. It's just harder to hire more programmers than rent more servers. If it takes less time and people to finish a product, and the only concern is how many machines you need, you'll take this opportunity 9 times out of 10. And while in case of a client-side game, throwing more hardware isn't an option, spending less time on making a game means you have more time to optimize your game, which may result in even better performance than if you tried your game in C in the first place. Or you can make more of the game instead. I believe Java is the best language to be the first serious language, for two reasons. First, it has strict rules, patterns and structure, which makes it very possible to create self-documented code and stable code contracts. It's not a Java-exclusive trait, but it's something languages without fixed types and objects, such as JS and Lua, cannot easily achieve. And second, it doesn't have that many features to learn, especially Java 8. It just doesn't suffer from the same feature creep you find in C Sharp, C++ or Kotlin. For example, I am making a voxel VR game in Unreal and C++, the dev look is coming, and having to constantly decide if a variable should be passed by reference or by value, and if it should be a pointer or not, and that is for every single use of every single variable, is just tedious. Now let's talk about performance. And it's actually better than commonly portrayed. Yes, it has inherent overhead simply because of how the Java runtime works, but as I've said, spending less time on developing a product means you have more time to optimize your code and the Java runtime itself is also getting better with each update. As proven by the Minecraft mods called Sodium and Lithium, you can have exceptional performance in Java if you put enough time, effort and knowledge. There are two opportunities for troubles though. First, garbage collection. Every now and then Java has to stop whatever it's doing and spend time on memory management. Something a programmer on C has to solve during development and it doesn't affect the runtime. 
In modern Java, it's not exactly true that it completely stops, but still. Deciding when Java will start spending resources on memory management is outside of developer's control. If you as a player have frequent freezes in Minecraft, it's often because of memory management issues. Second, the Java runtime is pretty bad at calling things outside of itself. Calling an external library is by the orders of magnitude slower than calling a regular method within the Java itself. And guess what? Graphics APIs are sitting in external libraries, and you need to make a lot of calls to the graphics APIs. It might be a deal breaker for some niche cases, but for a normal indie game it shouldn't be an issue. So, if Java is a bad option, what's a good option then? I'm not really sure. Obviously, C++ is the go-to answer for making video games, but from the Java developer's perspective, I find C++ being a terrible starting point because of two reasons. First, C++ has so much more things to learn from the start than Java. And it's mostly low-level stuff you have to constantly keep track of. What to pass by reference, what to pass by value, when to use pointers, manual memory management. Like, there are much more decisions and considerations to make every step of the way. Second, arguably C++ tools are more clunky in comparison to C Sharp or Java, even within the same IDE. Here's an example. In Java, if you start typing a portion of a name of a class, the IDE will automatically suggest all possible answers and even import it for you automatically. In C++, you need to either know the exact name of a class to be able to include, or you need to include the file first, and then it will auto-complete a class name. Why is this important? Won't you naturally remember the names of classes you use? It's about discovering new classes. For example, let's say I want to read a JSON file. In Java, I just type JSON and it will suggest all classes with the word JSON in its name. And just by the name, I can guess that JSON reader might be the thing I need. In C++, you need to use external sources to know either the name of a class or the name of a header to include. The second language that comes to mind is C Sharp. It's, it's very close to being a carbon copy of Java, but with better client performance and some feature creep. The issue is that the main reason why C Sharp is a viable language in game dev today is Unity. If Unity goes down, the prospects of making a cross-platform game on C Sharp become uncertain. It might be possible, Unity does it somehow, but it's not a well-established process proven to reliably work. Space engineers, which are written in C Sharp, support only Windows and Xbox. If a decently sized studio with a hugely successful game cannot make a PlayStation port, there has to be a very good reason for it. Moreover, if Unity will go down, it will open a floodgate of unemployed C-Sharp game developers with next to zero game dev companies willing to hire them. Because, again, games have to be released on consoles. I doubt Unity will just instantly disappear overnight, but the prospect of it fizzling out is real for any piece of tech. That said, having to learn new things, having to adapt, having to migrate is it's just an unfortunate reality in the IT industry everyone has to face all the time. If you believe Unity will be strong enough in the following years, then, then C Sharp might be a good option even if you're a Java developer. It's not that hard to migrate. So, should you make games using Java? My answer is no if you want to pursue game dev as your career. There isn't anywhere to go with Java. My answer is maybe if a Java-based toolkit makes you significantly more productive than something more traditional like Unity or Unreal. And if getting a job in the gaming industry isn't a big concern. While I believe that engine options on Java aren't as good as the mainstream engines, it could be a matter of preference. In the end, you could do what Minecraft and Slay the Spire did, that is, to not worry about porting your game to consoles until it becomes a huge success. That said, at one point Switch 
supposedly used to be a much better platform for indie games than Steam. You never know. Another option when the answer is maybe is if you want to learn programming and not planning to become a game developer. As I said, I believe Java is the best language to be the first serious language, and making a basic game is a good way to learn how to program. Heck, when I was starting my degree, my first project was making a 2D game on Turbo Pascal of all things. <laughs>